So we get set for the final race of Formula One's summer triple header. France is in the books. Styria is now a distant memory, but Austria is waiting in the wings. Perhaps the kind of wings that Red Bull can give you. They will be hoping that for sure. Either way, we get into all of the news in Formula One going into the weekend here on GP Fans. But before we do that... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to stay abreast of everything going on from the pinnacle of motorsport that is Formula One. Now that's out of the way, let's dive into the news as we get set to hear about a Spaniard's superstitions and Sebastian Vettel going green on and off the track. Sebastian Vettel is adamant he will not be silenced by his critics after being accused of hypocrisy over his decision to become an eco-activist. In a recent interview with Germany's Der Spiegel magazine, Vettel has revealed his decision to go green, which has included him installing a photovoltaic system at his home and driving two electric cars. It has led to criticism, in particular given that Vettel continues to compete in a sport like F1, which would appear to be at odds with his newfound belief, despite F1's own pursuit of a greener, carbon-neutral future. Defending his position, Vettel said, Without diving into the point of the interview, but just trying to briefly explain, the topic I was talking about is not something that will be in fashion and then out of fashion. It's something that addresses all of us, and it's also a topic no sport, no business, no activity, no program will be able to duck. It's something we are all facing. It's more and more in our future, and it's something our sport is facing. What I want to say is that it addresses all of us and we all should be aware of it and I will not be shy of raising or trying to use my voice to raise awareness for something that is important to all of us. There will always be people who have a different opinion and opinions are very very important so I'm happy to learn from people who have a different opinion or critics but in the bigger picture there's a chance for our sport to do better in the future, to be more relevant, to have a better place in the world and it's something we can all work on together. Elsewhere in the middle of the pack, but with another former Formula One world champion, Fernando Alonso has become a regular participant in pre-racetrack walks this season because he feels it's a lucky omen. For most of his career, Spaniard Alonso has shunned the traditional pre-race activity, which most drivers do on a Thursday to get a feel for the track before climbing into the cockpit on the following day. That has changed this season, however, with the Alpine driver registering points finishes at each race at which he's walked the track ahead of the weekend's running. He explained, I did one in Portimao this year because it was a new circuit and it was the best weekend. We did score good points and were competitive there. We stopped in Barcelona and in Monaco and we came back to not scoring points. So we said, OK, we try again in Baku. We finished sixth so it was our best race. So at that moment, we kept doing track walks and keep scoring points on Sundays. So at the moment, it is a pure superstitious thing. Alonso had a challenging time last time out at the Red Bull ring, but still scored points with a ninth place finish, his fifth point scoring finish in eight races so far this season. This weekend sees the team's race at the same venue again, but with softer tyres and the prospect perhaps of wet weather throwing a few unknowns into the mix. So Alonso has walked the track once again in hope of securing another points finish. He said, I am enjoying the two Red Bull ring races. Together with France, that will make three in a row. So that is good for racing. Last weekend was a tough weekend in terms of competitiveness. We have to raise our level. This weekend, different tyres and the threat of weather hopefully will help us a little bit because I don't think that it is the best layout for our package, but some points will be available for sure and we have to take any opportunities. So do you believe in superstitions or do you think that perhaps Fernando Alonso walking the track on a Thursday is just benefiting mentally on a Friday, Saturday and of course the race on Sunday? And what do you make of Sebastian Vettel going green? He's already moved to Aston Martin. Going green off the track though is giving his critics a little bit of fuel for the fire. Does it work hand in hand with Formula One? Let us know in the comments section below. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay abreast with everything going on at the Austrian Grand Prix this weekend and the rest of the season beyond here at GP Fans.